finally learned how to do for loops and I have a few operators but those are going to be in the next video so well like I said for loop for loops okay well for loops are very similar to while loops except you don't have to write the code in the main body you can just put it in the parameters um, I'll show you okay if I go here um, there we go yeah it's uh, not liking me using the default package because I didn't need to create one I don't really need to okay so a for loop starts out as like this okay then uh, a variable it has to equal something Okay, and then you want to set when should it stop, or what does J have, or what does the parameter, this one here, what does what does the variable have to meet? What what condition? So we're going to uh, create a new boot, a uh, new int here int i equals 100 okay sorry I just wanted to get rid of that okay so we want to do it while i or while j is less than i and in the next video I will teach you about less than and equal than and all that equal to whatever okay and then we want to set the increment which is j plus plus which just adds one to j okay so now We we run this. Uh, cross my fingers. So it, it should actually work. It should. Uh, okay, once once so please. There, there we go. See. And I printed zero two. I plus one, and then we run it. See, one hundred. I'm gonna make it for like half a second here. You know, I'm just gonna set it to ten. And uh, thread dot sleep. Okay, load. Ugh, need to retype it. Thread dot sleep. For 10 milliseconds. And then I'm gonna generate the try catch. So now. It slows it down quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to set it to one tenth of a second. So it'll print out ten per second.
ta-da, the for loop. Uh, it's kind of easier than while loop. I have had more experience with while loop, but um, there you go. Told you I'd do it.